Hey everyone, so today is July 17th. I think that means I'm somewhere like eight or nine weeks post-op. Things are looking all right, so here's my neck. So you can see, you can still see it a bit. Um, yeah, there it is. So, it's been going well. Don't have as much of the dizziness that I used to have. So that's a huge, huge plus. I've been going to the gym a little bit more in the mornings, getting back into my routine, except obviously not lifting weights. Instead, I am just walking on the treadmill. So today, I was I've gone up the speed, so I'm at <laughs> gone up the speed. 3.3 or 3.5 miles per hour uh, it's getting kind of tricky because well, I don't really have long legs um, I don't have stubby legs either but the speed it's caused me to like I'm getting to the point where I could maybe even jog really slowly if I'm not careful so I gotta be well I gotta be careful uh, so yeah, other than that, I don't have so much pains anymore, uh, though I do have still a lot of tightness in now in my upper traps and back, but also still in my chest. So as I, uh, you know, sometimes even just laying down and then just kind of getting up or like you always have to keep practicing, you know, doing like a log roll up. So instead of just pulling myself and doing like a crunch up, instead of rolling to the side and then picking up or just supporting my head with my arms um, and picking myself up. So those are things to pay attention to and, and know. Uh, and then outside of that, I still do have a little bit of a sensation. I, I wouldn't call it dizziness per se. Um, I'm not really sure what to call it, but there is a sensation that I'm not quite sure how to really describe. Although I'm trying to based on what I believe I've felt before, uh, and that is if you were to stand up straight, all right, and make sure that you're like, let's say you're on like uh, hardwoods or even cement, and don't jump very high, but jump up, a, you know, a couple few inches, and as you land, don't really absorb it with your knees. Uh, it's not something that I would advise uh, normally, but I mean, if you do it once, I don't think it'll it'll break you. Uh, if it does, then well, it's your fault. You're listening to me. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, you jump up, and then as you land, don't try to absorb it with your knees or your hips or anything else. But so just let or pull up your feet so it's like you know your toes are like that and then you're landing straight on your heels and when you land on your heels uh, that sensation that you get from a, like the shock going all the way up your body to your head that sensation in the head is kind of what I deal with right now and I'm not sure if it's because I just haven't been walking more and so my body's still not used to that and it's not even necessarily like used to it, but really because it's removed that disc, right? It's removed some of that cushion that I typically have when I walk, run, or anything else. So not only that, but I've also now fused uh, the disc, so it's just more shock that gets uh, transferred to my head that it wasn't um, expecting before. So it's things like that I think that that's the sensation. That's what's happening, but it's getting it's been getting better. Uh, hopefully, it just continues getting better, and I'm fully back uh, soon. But other than that, again, it's just muscle tightness, uh, especially in the back of the neck. Uh, I am stretching, um, doing all sorts of stuff, and especially if you're familiar with yoga. Uh, so I'll do things like uh, the Sphinx pose. Uh, for my lower back because I think that that has been impacting my, um, my general, or rather model neck, everything has been impacting my posture. So, yeah. uh, and then outside of that, just been going out, things have been going well. 
I'm anxious to see what happens next week as I travel and I have to fly and well, I can't really lift anything, right? Can't lift the, the luggage, so that'll be fun to see what happens. I might wear the neck brace to the airport just so I don't look like a jerk having my girlfriend uh, carry everything and pointing at the, um, what do you call it, the overhead compartments. Yeah, put the luggage up there. Maybe we'll do a check-in. I don't know. So, anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys are doing well. I appreciate you following up or just keep watching. And uh, we'll talk soon. Bye.